and we've just had storms Derek, no, Ciara and Derek so the river's really still quite high but we've come here because we're excited to see what's been what's washed been out. Washed out yeah. So, so yeah. we're on the north side of the river right now but we'll be checking out the south side as well, see what we can see. Yeah, hopefully. Um, but we're on, it's the River Tweed and yeah, she's been quite high recently so yeah. we might not find anything we might do but we'll see you on the first find. That's the fun of it. Tom and I have actually got new trowels today. We've had them for a while. You can see they're already getting a bit rusty from the seafood. But look, they've got the Time Team logo on. So they're Time Team trowels. Look, <laughs> how cool is that? It was on there as well, but we've worn it off already. Yeah, <laughs> there was a little logo on there, but yeah, it's gone. Good trowels though. They're very good trowels. Excited to use them here at Berwick. Well, um, just kind of looking around, I can see little bits of iron. Like, but there's a bit of iron there and something there and a big old nail there as well. Oh, there might be some other interesting things. Dig around. Teeth. Big tooths. There's lots of. There's always big teeth big down here, isn't there? Cow tooths. Make a nice noise. Oh, what's this? What's that? Oh. oh, I think it's a little bead. It's a bead. I think it's quite modern though. It's kind of got like some kind of yeah. foil on it. Yeah. I saw something else though. Well, I think it's just some kind of modern bracket off something. I don't know if it's that modern. Oh. I don't know what it is. Just down here, I spotted a really pretty piece of jasper. Look at that red jasper, isn't it pretty? Pretty rock. Just spotted down here something. And I recognise it as a fragment of 18th or 17th century forest glass. And it's called forest glass because it's really dark, really, really dark green. Oh yeah, that's interesting. Hand blown bottle. Oh yeah, look. German stoneware. Pretty. Slipware and some Bartman jug fragment. Quite interesting. Wow, so under the bridge is just completely been covered with sticks. This is usually covered with glass and pottery, but it's just it's a little bit down here. It's all grass, sticks. I haven't found anything extremely interesting so far. But I spotted this down here and it looks like the top <laughs> of someone's hat. Well, it's plastic, so I'm going to have to take it with me. I wonder how they lost their hat. Oh, look. Looky here. I think I found my first piece of clay pipe today. It's a very small, sad looking piece of clay pipe. Focus, there we go. Not very interesting. At least there's something down here. <laughs> well, I see a brick here. If there's nothing else, there's a brick. And it looks like it has loads of words on it, so... Oh, let's have a look. Mitchell West... Oh! Looks like Mitchell West Bay... Bay? Or Bake? 
Mitchell West Bake. Uh, uh, P. Oh, Portobello. Mitchell West Bake Portobello. That's interesting. Oh, there's Mum. We've actually got walkie talkies for communication. Look. <laughs> so I'm going to try talking to her. Hello? Hello? Oh, look, she's waving. So we can stay in contact. Even if um, Mum's several miles ahead of me. <laughs> anyway, this is one of our promising uh, pottery spots down there. So I think we're going to have a quick deeks over here. I don't think there's much else though, sadly. Oh, apart from a big old tree down there. Look at that. Look. That looks like ooh, the base of a German stoneware or Bellamine jug. Isn't that cool? Look, found part of oh. the base. It that looks a base. It, yeah, it looks like it has oh, something on it. There, look, and, and over here, <coughs> da -da, oh, there's yeah. another fragment of Bartman. One day we'll have enough to make a whole one. And actually, down here, I saw something hiding. Where is it? Down here. Look what you're doing. Oh, way. oh, <laughs> look, volcanite bottle stopper, but it's still in its. Oh. Uh, what's it? How on it? Oh, it has something on it. Oh, I think it's Middle Mass Kelso again. We've got a few of these. It's interesting, it has something on it though, at least. Let me unscrew it. Now look. Mm. Middle Mass Kelso. Kelso, which is a town in the Scottish borders. Wow, so there are a few bits and bobs down here, isn't there? Cool. Oh, look, I found a pretty red. Red glass! Red glass is so pretty! Gold is actually used in the making of red glass, that's why it's so rare to find it. A sea glass and river glass and stuff. But look, there's loads of glass down here. I don't know if you can see it all lying around. Loads of pottery as well, bits of tiles. It takes all day to look amongst it. Mum found this brick. Now it looks really old because um look, oh no, forget her. look at it, it's got well it's just really looks like it's really poorly made. And here there's like a whole rock in there. A whole pebble within the brick. It almost looks like it's burnt a little actually. That's interesting. Oh, yeah. yeah, I wonder how yeah. old it is. I'll put it in the bag. down here. It looks like quite an old bottle. Probably uh, late 19th or 18th century. And there's lots of bits of tile. Lots of bits of roof tile as well because of course a lot of the, um, the houses, you can actually see them in the distance there, they've got red roof tiles so you find a lot of the red roof tiles down here on the foreshore as well I can see other bits of old bottles down there like there 
So I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have a quick little look down there, see if there's anything. There's actually quite a few bits, bigger bits. A bottle down here. They're like buried under the gravel. Wouldn't it be so cool to find like a whole one? Oh my god. I like there's a big oh I'm I'm zoomed right. <laughs> Sorry, look. Down here, can you see that? Under this like concretion. Not sure. I'm gonna get to it. I think it might be another kick up. But oh yeah look. There's another one here. I'm gonna call mum over here because there's loads of bits of really old bottle and quite chunky bits too. Oh look, down there. Whoa, that's like a whole base. Look at that. It's really heavy for a piece of glass, for a piece of bottle. Modern bottles now are really light. Yeah, looky here, there's two. Like whole bases. Look, you can see the you can see the bubble in that one. Big old bubble. Oh, and that is quite a big piece. Look at that. I think these are some of the biggest pieces of old bottle I've seen. Look at this! Yeah, look! Huge pieces! I feel like we've got a collection of them now. Yeah! Oh yeah, look at the size of the bubble in this one. It's huge. You can't, actually can't even see the light through that one, it's so dark. Look, we've got a collection. So we've been digging around down here with our trolls and finding loads and loads of pieces of really Jeez, old look at, that. look at that and that a huge huge piece 18 early 19th look that's got actually got a bit of broken base inside of it look at that it's like they've been dumped down here deliberately how cool they come out of this yeah, maybe they come out of this drain. This ancient drain. Wouldn't it be cool to find like a seal? <laughs> a seal off one of the bottles. You know how some of the posh ones are sealed. Okay, so we've been digging down here for a while and we found loads. Loads of bits of old bottles. And we've decided to keep some of these really old bases. Clean them up and see yeah. if we could do anything with them. Yeah, see if we can do anything at so all. So many with them. of them and they're lovely. Lovely, lovely old glass. So yeah, we're gonna keep them and I think just before someone like threw some soil at us from up there. We got covered in soil, didn't we? <laughs> anyway. Let's let's go to the other side of the river. There's a few things. can see bits of old bottle. They're just checking in case it has a seal on it because one of mum's uh, dream finds is to find the seal of a 18th century bottle. So we're looking out for those. Hmm, let's have a look. Oh look, there's like an oyster shell down there. Not sure if you can see it with a hole in it. Now I really do not want to put my hand in this water. So <laughs> let's just somehow try and get it out. Oh oh I've got my gloves wet but yeah look kind of a squarish hole. That's really interesting. I'm pretty sure you find these on the Thames. 
and um, people don't know for sure why they have holes in. So that's really interesting. I'm going to show this to Mum and see what she thinks. Guess what I found? A, I found an oyster shell with a square hole in it. There's one or two oyster shells down here. There, and there, and there. And of course, oysters are a posh food today, aren't they? But back in the day, back in Victorian times, and um, right back to Roman times, actually, oysters were quite a staple food for um, poorer people, actually. People who didn't have much money. They were quite a cheap food. So it's funny how things have changed. Actually down here I see more base. Look. Why is there so much of it? I don't I don't understand why there's so much. Just on this particular stretch. Strange. Just down here. Yeah, there it is. I found this bit pot and it's got a strange kind of glaze on the outside and it's like really dark inside like it's been burnt from the inside that's really odd looks really old as well mum's got a bit of Bartman jug handle that face is still ever elusive but look I found this interesting piece of pot it's like burnt on the inside isn't that weird yeah it's strange all sorts in the water here. Loads of stuff. But it's a bit deep. And very chilly, so <laughs> I ain't picking it out. There's a bit of clay pipe there as well. A little shard of clay pipe. Might be able to kick it up. No, I've lost it now. This is gone. <laughs> There's more of that pot. It's like dark on the inside. That's really weird. That's really strange. If anyone has any idea what kind of uh, pot that is, it'd be really interesting to know. Oh, look. So I just saw a tiny little glint of red down there. And I think it's one of my favourite finds again. I'm going to have to put my hands in the water for a second. Oh. Try not to get my gloves wet. Yay! Look! It's a wee marble. It's like red inside. I don't think it's a very old one. But still, it's really bubbly actually. It might be an old one. Let me have a look a bit closer. Look, it's got loads of bubbles inside. Cute! So I think I've just found the base of some kind of stoneware. I'm not sure if it's German stoneware or something. I don't really know, but down here there's a bit of clay pipe. Just a tiny little fragment. I've just found a coin down here. I don't know how old it is and it's in the water so I'm gonna have to get my hands cold and put them in. But I'm actually directly under the bridge. Ta-da! So I think I am, I'm gonna have to take my glove off and then get the coin. It's probably just two pee. <laughs> oh well, I'll try. So it turns out it was better than a two pee because it's a 10 p. <laughs> <laughs> my hands so cold I can't even tell you it's just I can't feel it and it hurts ah I can't wait for the summer so it looks like mum's found um what she thinks is a piece of Bartman jug rim maybe to go with my base and we'll have all the bits soon a piece of fossil and I think this is some kind of tree root yeah yeah it looks almost pyrotized it kind of looks metallic yeah it does that's cool yeah. you get stuck in that hole 
<laughs> I'm sneaking my way to the bottle dump. <laughs> I know how you like your tea, so don't get over excited. <laughs> it's a whole teapot. <laughs> Mum could always just drink some tea, to be honest. Look at that. Don't usually find them whole. Oh, look. Oh, look. Oh, no. Look. It's like a blue blob top bottle. Oh, my God. Don't think it's quite a blob top, but look at that. Oh, my. Oh, oh. no. Why is it broken? Looks like whoever was digging here last has been back. Maybe they saw our video. <laughs> yeah, someone's had a real good go at this by the looks of things. I see like the lip of a bottle sticking out there. The neck of a bottle. Oh, it's actually really jammed in there. So I wonder if it's whole. God, look! Oh, it's a whole oh. beer! Oh my God! Oh my God! Look! Oh wow. my God! Oh, it was just there, so whoever was here just Johnson. missed it. They just missed it by like, oh, wow. <laughs> like a centimeter. That's oh beautiful. wow! Look at that embossing. Beric, it says Beric. I'm so happy to be a bottle. No, that. Oh, that thing. I don't know. It's like look. It's a spur. looks like a spur. No, look. It's a spur with oh, wings. A, spur. <laughs> a wing spur. Wow. That's so cool. Oh my god. Oh, my god. oh it's a little sauce bottle. It's probably like. Oh, is it blank? I think it's yeah. just blank. Yeah. A slick. Oh well. I found a little stopple bubble look. Oh. oh, looks like Mum just pulled out this little, this little cream, um, cream. What am I, What's the word I'm looking for? Oh, it's got something on the bottom. Oh. Might maybe some cream jar? I don't know. Oh, I can't really read what's on the bottom there. There's something on there. I'm gonna keep that though. What do you call it? Milk glass. That's what it is. Milk glass. Put in the bag. Oh, look. Let's just pull that out of pipe. What's it say? Oh, yes. Oh, look. Is it a harp? Is it just me or is it a harp? Oh, and a butterfly. Looks like a butterfly. No, a heart. Oh, or a clover. A clover. Full leaf clover. Oh, yes. look. Must be sort of Irish. Holy clover and a harp, so it must be Irish, yes. How cool is that? Someone's left loads of things here, but they all look broken. Oh, what's this have on it? Hold on, hold on. Somerville's bottled beers. Oh, that's a nice little bottle. Shame it's completely busted up. I've just seen something poking out down here. Look, it has words on it. Is it a cream pop? <gasps> Could it be whole? Oh my God. Please be whole, please, please, please be whole. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God, let's have a look. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's so cute. Cumberland Dairy, pure thick cream, fresh daily, low row. Asparta. Aspartria. What's that say? Aspatria. Aspatria. Yeah, that's in Cumbria. Oh my god, look how cute that is. Oh, I'm putting that, that's cool. Well and truly in the barn. In the barn? In the bag? Actually, look down, look here, I found this broken cod bottle, but do you recognise this symbol? Of like the spur with wings. <laughs> it was really random. It's broken, sadly. But 
it's the same on that beer bottle. So that's interesting. Okay, mum's found something else here. I think it might be another marmalade jar. My camera bag just rolled down the hill. <laughs> Look, my camera bag's just gone down there. Oh no. Oh, is it just a plain? Oh yeah, look. Plain marmalade. Probably late 19th, early 20th century marmalade jar, that. Oh, we've got plenty of those, so I'll put it to the side for now. It's another one, it's another one. Oh, it's another one. Oh my God. I'm really excited. I'm really excited. Oh, is it whole? Oh no, oh my God, it is whole. Another one. <laughs> yeah, look. That's so exciting. They're, they're so beautiful. Put it in the bag. Put it in the bag. <gasps> I think it's a cod bottle and I think it's whole. Oh my god. Very it's a very one. Oh my god. Guys, <laughs> it's whole, it's not broken. Look at the depiction on it. I found loads of broken ones of these before, loads of them. I have loads of these that are broken. Look, it has a bee on it. A bee. Border Brewery. Trademark Berwick upon Tweed. Wow. I'm so happy. I found a bit of a mug, oh. a beautiful mug. It's all broken up, but look how pretty it is. Let me have a look. Oh, look, there's people on there laughing oh, keep that. and laughing and keep going on. Oh, look, they're having a, having a party. Oh, keep it. We can pick it up. yeah, but I'll keep that. I just pulled this out. Look, oh my god, look how cool it is. <gasps> It's all stumpy. What does it say? John Mackey? 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 Edinburgh and Newcastle. Pontine, right? Mum's going because she wants to go and look on the other side of the river, but I want to stay here. Look! Look! I'll carry it then. Look, guys! We found, I think. I'm pretty sure this is a toothpaste yes, for toothpaste, toothpaste. Old, to, old toothpaste powder. And look, still you can still the see the label. Oh my god, that's incredible. What's that there sticking out? Oh, oh I thought it was a pipe, it's just a stick. <laughs> that's so cool. Look, you can see the label. Whoa, that's so cool. Look at this. Mum's just found a little dog skull. And it's teeth. There's oh, little no. tooth in its jaw. Look. Someone's just chucked their dead dog away with the rubbish. Oh, Poor little guy. Poor girl. Oh. Okay, well, I think we've dug out all we can from here, to be honest. Um, without, really. without, yeah, without doing going you know doing too much uh, there's some bottles and things down there as well actually they're all over the place like. <laughs> anyway yeah that's that or is it no actually <laughs> i'm going to stop now i'm going to stop sooner or later otherwise we'll be here forever but we'll be back
are all our things from our trip to Berwick. Yeah, we'll take you around, have a quick look at what we've got. Some of, of our beautiful models, of course. And I think we're going to start here with this little fossil. And we think it is um, the fossil of a root of a tree, several million years old. We can't remember what it's called though, and we forgot to look it up again. Yeah, it's quite interestingly, looks like it's pyrotized as well, slightly. Yeah. And this brick, um, not sure of its age, but it looks ancient. I don't think it's Roman, and it's got a purpley hue to it. But it's full of inclusions. I mean, it includes great big pebbles and stones. Mm. And it looks like it's had some sort of organic inclusions as well that have burnt out when it was um, fired. So Looks yeah. like it's slightly burnt there as well. Yeah. yeah, interesting. If anyone knows anything about how old that brick could be. Um, and we've got various pottery, and so I've sort of arranged it um, in order of age, possible age. So we think this is the oldest pottery that we found on the river this trip, and we think it's iron-rich sandy ware, which was common in the West Midlands and dates from around the 11th to the 14th century. So um, that's what we think it is. If anyone has any other opinions about it, we'd love to hear. Well, we definitely think that's what it is anyway, yeah. which is really cool. Um, this piece here is typical medieval um, pottery with its green glaze. We think it might be humber ware, which is red bodied um, and often it's grey or black in the centre and a greenish brown glaze. And that dates from the 13th to the 15th century. Um, the little piece there that's black on both sides, um, we think this could be Cistercian ware, which dates from the 1475 to 1700, and it's called Cistercian ware because it was found a lot in um, Cistercian monasteries when they were being excavated, and it's interesting because there were Cistercian nuns in Berwick, so hmm. that is a piece of Westerwald German stoneware we think and then sort of Bartman jugs from around about the same period which would have been um, 16th, 17th, 18th century and moving on um, Alex found this piece here which is quite interesting um, and we think it could be Siegberg or Siegberg stoneware um, and they had this typical um, frilly pie crust sort of base sort of foot on them mm. and they were jugs or drinking jugs of some sort yeah some kind of drinking vessel oh, and these being a similar color mm, we thought we they think... might be related yeah look that's very similar isn't it yeah. very similar color but it's here this on, one um is a piece of probably 18th century slipware and then we're coming down to 19th century now with um, stoneware. We mistook um, a few of these pieces on the video for German stoneware, yeah. but we're pretty sure that this is all 19th century yeah. stuff. And then 18th, 19th century blue pieces and white. Here. This is interesting because it's been hand carved yeah. pro probably um, uh, before it was fired, um, hand carved into the, the glaze, and then it would have been fired. I don't know what that is. If anyone knows, I'd be interested to know. Pipes. And here are, are our pipes. Um, we've got two with hearts on, and they are T.W., who is, if I can find my piece of paper, um, Thomas White & Co., Edinburgh, 1823 to 1876. So we've got two of those. But this also says Berwick on that side and Tennant on the other side. So yeah, I think Tennant's might have got some pipes from this, these people and put their own name on it for some reason. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on there. CTW on there. Um, the other interesting one is this. Um, it's a harp and a sort of shamrock on the other side. And it's marked Erin. And this represents the maid of Erin winged harp. And of course the shamrock um, is very Irish, so it's a very Irish pipe. Not sure if it was made in Ireland or just made for the Irish. Maybe, maybe even the, the work, Briggers. Yeah, yeah, workmen on the bridge. And 
here is a, a collection of teeth, Dudes. cow and sheep teeth. Possibly pigs as well. Possibly pigs. Not, not sure. And down here, this is quite interesting, it's an oyster shell. But these shells have been found on the Thames. You've probably seen them on Thames Mudlarkers videos. And they've got this squarish hole. Sometimes they're round, round or even triangular. And, and they've also been found in Roman um, fort digs and also Anglo-Saxon sites, so nobody really knows how this hole gets in there. Um, it's obviously served some sort of purpose in yeah. the past, but we thought it was interesting that we'd found this in Berwick, um, because they usually people just find them on the Thames. Yeah, there's loads of different theories. We won't read them out to you today, but um, if you have a theory to why there is a random hole in this shell, we'd love to know. Yeah, so a few little nails there some bottle stoppers and they're both middle mass Kelso. Kelso is a town in the Scottish border, it's not too far from Berwick. Some lovely pieces of glass, um, a faux pearl and another stopple bopper, stopple bopper, plain glass one. Some various bits of unknown metal. Very random. Alex found a 10p and so yeah. did I, but mine's a lot newer than Alex's. Got 20p. So, I think now we're going to move on to our bottle finds. I think we'll start with the pieces that we've found on the foreshore. So we've got these absolutely gorgeous, really heavy, chunky bases of bottles. Sorry, my cat's um, in the background scratching us, <laughs> scratching us all. So these are kick-ups. You can see um, the big kick-ups on the bottom and the pontals there. So. Um, the bottom of the bottle was pushed in after it was blown and shaped, so the bottle sat straight and it sat flat on the table. Um, you can see the bubbles in there. This is called forest glass, and we think it's around um, maybe even early 18th century. Well, these I'd bottles, say mid to late 18th century. Mid to late, or oh, I don't know. It could the earlier 18th could century be. would have been. Uh... Yeah, it could be. It could be. You never know. You know, these are quite chunky and we've actually got an example here, look. So mum's actually got a small collection of genuine undamaged 18th century bottles. And you can see on the bottom here, it's very similar. Yeah, it's very similar. Extremely to, uh... similar, look. This, that the one mum's holding, the bit, the kick up there, look, actually looks older. Yeah, it feels quite heavy as well. And this is probably um, late 18th, isn't it? This bottle. Late 18th, maybe early 19th. Beautiful, beautiful bottle. Yeah. Anyway, it's great that we have that example to show you as well. And that moaning uh, noise is the window. Yeah, the window, yeah, yeah sorry. It's quite windy today. So. <laughs> and, of course, these are the lips and the necks of probably the same similar bottles. Bottle. Yeah. And you can see the varying types and very similar to the, the whole bottle that I just showed you there as well. This one, I think, is quite old, probably of yeah, an onion bottle. Yeah, onion bottle. Mm. See the profile there, it suggests it flares yes. out quite a lot. We actually have an onion bottle as well. Yeah. Um, but we'll show you that on another day. Um, we have this beautiful, I think it's some kind of cream jug or something, isn't it? But cream jug or something, yeah. It's um, Adams. made by Adams in Tunstall, which is down in the Potteries in Staffordshire. Um, and it's illustrations from Dickens. So these are, I didn't realise at the time, but... Well, they're illustrations from Dickens. I can't read, can't what, that really says. read what that says. At the bottom so. it says, fire away. What's it yeah. say? A quote from the book. A yeah. Mr. Well, I'll put that, up, read it. Put that <laughs> on the screen. <laughs> and uh, this is, I can recognise it as a scene from Oliver. Oliver and, Twist. And it says Oliver's reception by Fagin and the boys. And we can see, um, so we can see Nancy the Artful there. Dodger and... Um, Bill, 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 Sykes, Bill Sykes, Fagin, and his little dog, Bullseye, Bullseye. <laughs> and Nancy there as well, so that's really cute. Yeah. It would have been lovely if that was whole, but unfortunately it's in pieces. Um, and with uh, another find, very, very, very interesting find in relation to this, this base here, this kick up, um, are, is this, these finds here. Now, um, we were cleaning these. And um, Mum found this big conglomerate in the bottom it of one of these bottles. The yeah, you can you can see the iron staining on there. 
And she told me to, she saw this pin, didn't you? You saw that? Yeah, Just yeah, this one pin out. sticking out and told me to crack it open. And after I did, turns out this it's absolutely full of little tiny pins. All in the bottle, all in the bottle? All in the bottom of this base of this kick up. So you can see it's kind of rusted up, rusted together. So maybe there were pieces of iron in there. And mum actually put a photo of this on Instagram and some of you mentioned that this could have been a witch's bottle and they would have put um, things like maybe even urine of the person um, that they were trying to cure or I don't know, little heart, cut out bits of heart, bits of fabric, bits of hair, all kinds of things in these bottles and they'd bury them usually outside of someone's house. But yeah. it's a bit odd because we found this in the river. But there was a really ancient drain directly above that came through the Elizabethan walls of the town. So um, so cool. Really cool. Yeah, really if cool. that's what it is, that's just that's so just amazing. amazing. <laughs> ah, that's just so we cool. We love it. We yeah, absolutely, absolutely love, love it. the idea that that's a witch's yeah. bottle. But um, what else have we got? This is this is actually a cheese. A cheese pot. A cheese pot. Yeah. It's got a cool depiction of two keys on the bottom, actually. Um, this is our little toothpaste. Um, what is it? Um, Ozol. Oh, Odol. 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 Odol, you can see it on Odol. Oh, yeah, there. Um, I think it was invented in Germany by a German bloke. And um, by the 1920s, it was sold all over the world, including Britain. So oh, um, Tooth powder. Yeah, they used to use tooth powder back in the day rather than paste. It's interesting, it still has its uh, label on and all. Um, we've got oh. our two... Um, uh, little cream jars here, two of just the same, both the same, one of them slightly paler than the other one. Um, and I think these are probably early 20th century, but strangely, mum has a collection of cream jars already that she's either found or bought. And look, we have one pretty much identical, maybe probably a little bit earlier actually, I think these are Victorian ones. And this one, on the bottom of it, has some extra words. And I haven't actually looked at this properly before, but it says Prever Preserved cream containing boric acid not exceeding 0 0.4 per cent? Is that yeah, cent? cent? Not suitable for infants or invalids. And um, you actually found out, yeah, didn't you? Yeah, um, the bor was it boric acid? Boric acid, yeah. Is was used as a preservative um, and it wasn't to be given to uh, young children because small amounts could actually kill children and large amounts would kill an adult. Um, but if it was used over a pro prolonged period, even small amounts could cause kidney damage and even kidney failure. So not a good thing. So if you were having this Quite cream, really. if you if you if you like regularly had this cream, yeah, maybe on you your, were damaging your kidneys. On so. your I don't know what would you have cream on? Apple pie. Yeah, if you were regularly putting apple cream crumble. on your apple cup crumble, <laughs> it would actually be slowly killing you. I'm um, giving you kidney failure. So How isn't awful. that isn't yeah, that just great? <laughs> and um, of course our star finds. I think these are the best. Our best bottle finds yet. Alex got a bit excited. I got very, very excited. They're not our oldest finds. They're all, um, we think they're all early 20th century, um, maybe even, you know, mid 1920s even. So um, I think I'll start with our cod bottle. Beautiful cod bottle. Look how it's so shiny and there's no like uh, sickness or damage to it or anything. Um, and it dates from between 1899 to 1924. In 1924, they merged with Johnson and Darling Limited. And in 1934, they were taken over by, I don't know, what's that? Vox. To... Vox. <laughs> <laughs> they were taken over um, by Vox. But yeah, can... so these are the uh, Johnson and Darling yeah, bottles. Yeah, and these are the, the Johnson and Darling bottles that that took over. Do they, did they take it, over? It... No, the, they merged. And they I think merged. They carried on in the Johnson and Darling name. You can see it rather than um, you know it was brewed by Johnson and Darling. It says bottled by Johnson and Darling, and it's got this strange. It says Berwick on there. Of course, it has this strange depiction of a spur with wings, and I'm not sure what that even means. It's really random. Maybe something to do with the border reavers. It might, yeah, yeah it might be something to do with the um, the ancient history of the area. Yeah. So we've got another one of those, and I think it's been made in a different mould, a depiction slightly different. If we hold up to the light... It's a bit of a different colour. It's a bit of an well. amber colour. So if Mum holds that up... So we've got two different coloured ones. 
It's so pretty. Cool. We love them. I just love the embossing on that. I think it's so cool. And then my favorite, Alex's favoritest favorite ever. Bottle. My favoritest ever bottle. It's so cute though. I love, I just love the color and I love this little blob top it's got on there, like that little applied top and the color and, <laughs> and the stumpiness, look how stumpy it is. John Mackay. John and Mackay and Co. Co. Um, Edinburgh and Glasgow and, and Newcastle, Newcastle on Tyne. Tyne. So that is just a beautiful bottle. We couldn't find much information about that because no, you looked um, it up and there wasn't very much on it. It's a bit sketchy, so I'll have to look deeper into that. We might put something up on the screen, but anyway, I think that pretty much concludes everything. Um, yeah, and we found yeah, some amazing things. And, you know, the witch's bottle, I think, is probably one of the coolest things. Yeah. If, if it is what it is, one of the coolest that, things we've ever found. What a piece of history. I know, crazy in my bottles. And um, I love the old pottery so, because... Yeah, um, some ancient pottery. This could be Saxon. I mean, that's just crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. So, anyway. Oh, there's a chicken. There's a chicken. Hello, chicken. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, thank you again for watching. Um, thank you to our wonderful patrons and our subscribers, of course. And all the people who take time to comment. Yeah, we love reading your comments. So um, goodbye for this week and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. So I'm going, um, you can walk across the bridge. See you there. No way, I'm trying to get this clay pipe out the water. Just wait a second. That's what they all say. It's a large fragment. Probably a large fragment on your ass in a minute. La 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 la. I got it, I got it. I'm coming now. It was just blank anyway. The top room of the Bartman Jugs.